summer is upon us and whatever you have going on, a vacation, a staycation, a summer wedding, well, Macy's has you covered. If you need summer dresses, matching sets, volume sleeve tops, wedges, straw crafted bags. I mean, really, they have what you need head to toe. I'm talking Levi's, Dolce Vita, Lacoste, and more. So shop summer must-haves at Macy's. Go to Macy's.com slash own your style. Again, that's Macy's.com slash own your style. Something I for sure love having in my home is super clean countertops. And I love when it smells good too. So you can bring the vacation vibes to your home with coconut scented Clorox and Tiva. It smells like coconut, cleans like Clorox, and feels like energy with a refreshing scent that'll transform your space into a tropical island retreat and give you a powerful clean. No plane ticket required. Unleash your self-expression with the enchanting coconut fragrance of Clorox and Tiva. You can get yours at a nearby retail store, also available in grapefruit or lavender scents. Host Nora McInerney is back for season two of The Head Start, Embracing the Journey, a podcast from Ruby Studio and Abvi. In each episode, Nora has real conversations with real people living with chronic migraine to see how they took action to understand this disease. So jump into the conversation for season two, a show that creates a little more space for empathy and understanding in such a complicated world. There shouldn't be so much hesitation around asking questions and asking for help. So don't wait. Join the Head Start Embracing the Journey and learn a little more about life with chronic migraine. In every pair of Tacova's boots, you can expect handmade quality, first wear comfort, and timeless Western style. Tacova's boots are always made from premium bovine and exotic leathers, and with occasional resoling, they're going to last a lifetime. The best way to shop for boots is at your local Tacova store, where you're going to be greeted by the smell of fresh leather and a friendly smile. So come on in, grab a cold one, get fitted by a pro, and shop the latest styles. Visit tacovas.com. That's T E C O V A S.com. And don't go gently, y'all. Happy Tuesday. Welcome to the fifth thing. <laughs> Kat's going to kill me because, long story, just some behind the scenes stuff is we were started recording something and then, you know, we're like, oh, shoot, we need to say this. So let's delete. And Kat's like, no, don't delete the whole thing. And I am someone that I just like to start all the way you, over. You have like um, automatic reaction of like when something happens, you're just like delete. And I'm like, wait a second. Yeah, I know. It was, I looked at, we just deleted seven minutes of talking, <sighs> which is totally fine because I just like starting and flowing. I want to flow. <laughs> That's me. I do this even at work too. I'll be doing commercials, yeah. which are pre-taped some. We used to do live commercials all the time, but now with different markets, like so many things are just recorded ahead of time and I'll get a stack of commercials and I'll start doing them. And then if I get stuck on one where I'm just like not getting it and not messing up, even though I have three on that track that are like solid and good to go, I can't even look at the, the track that has all the mess ups. So I just highlight the whole thing and delete and start over. So that way my producer gets like Ray or Kevin or Scuba Steve, they get like a clean track. Well, that's very nice of you to do that. Well, it's also probably completely pointless and they don't care and it's part of their job and I'm wasting my time. But I like, you like a, a nice flow. I like a flow and a clean track. So here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the fifth thing. I'm Amy. That's Kat. <laughs> and we always start the Tuesday episodes off with a quote. But today I'm going to actually read a listener email, which in the fifth thing, we share a lot of listener emails. And it's from Ashley. And she shared two quotes inside the email. So boom, a listener is providing our quotes for today. Here we go. Hey, Amy, thanks again for the opportunity to be on the Walk Thing Sunday Stroll listener Q&A. Several friends and family are now Four Things podcast listeners after hearing that episode. Smiley face. But now this is me interjecting here into the to Ashley's email. Yes, Ashley was one of the hosts on the Sunday bonus episodes, listener Q&A. I have put up four of those so far. And full transparency, I had every plan of, of having the month of April every Sunday with a bonus episode, but I had to change course and reschedule some of those sit downs with listeners, which I felt horrible about. But what do you always say, Kat? Have the day you need to have. Yeah. So kind of seems like for the month of April, I'm going to have the month I need to have. Mm -hmm. And I might be 
pausing the listener Q and A's, not indefinitely, because I literally already had the listeners lined up. I just need to move them. And it's okay that there's going to be a few weeks where there's not a listener Q and A. And who knows, maybe I'll get one done soon and I'll just throw it up again. It's a bonus thing. I don't feel obligated to do it, but I have enjoyed them so much. Mm -hmm. And of course, I didn't want to let those listeners down. But this is just an example of examining your schedule, Mm -hmm. looking at the priorities, what needs to get done. Are you being stretched too thin? Are there other things that are now on the table that are causing you to have to pivot? And is it okay to move some stuff around? What can move? Mm -hmm. Have the day you need to have. Now, I wish I had that luxury when it came to other responsibilities that I have, but we don't. So that's not lost on me. I'm not implying that if you feel like you just need to lay in bed all day, okay, (laughs) this isn't the permission slip to do that. But maybe there is a day where you could schedule that in. Yeah. And I also think that me saying have the day you need to have a lot of times isn't just about like what you're doing. It's about like how you're feeling too. Because did I ever tell you where I even came up with that? I don't know. I don't think I've talked about it. So there, I don't know what was happening at this point in my life, but I was just like in like a funk. And I remember I went to this gym that I used to work out at and the owner was really just amazing. And she was like, wanted to get to know you and she would talk to you. And it would just be like a nice, it was less about working out. Anyway, so I go and then afterward she's talking to me and she's like, how are you? And I was like, I really, I don't know how to answer that question. It was a Tuesday because I remember her saying, well, just have a Tuesday. I think I like looked at her weird or laughed. I don't know what I did, but she was like, do you know what I mean by that? And I was like, no, she was like, you don't need to have a good day. I'm not going to say have a good day, have a good day. You don't need to like have a bad day. You just like have a Tuesday, just let it be that. And like, that's what it's turned into to me. Like have the day you need to have. It doesn't have to be good. It doesn't have to be bad. So maybe you woke up and you're in a funk and you don't really want to go to work. You don't have to be all peppy and turn it on and like be nice to everybody that you see. Like sometimes you're just going to be in a weird mood. I don't know if you can always do that because your job, you're literally, (laughs) you have to have a personality, but maybe off the air, you just like have to like do it in spurts or something like that. So it's like, what do I do that day? Yes. And also what are the expectations I'm placing on myself to feel that day? That gets to be whatever you need that day. Oh, okay. I don't need to feel guilty about having to move things around because that's a feeling, right? Of guilt. Yeah, that's a feeling. But when you say like, I don't need to feel guilty. Well, you can't help it if you do or not. But guilt. just so it's clear for everybody, I did feel guilty. (laughs) But I'm not going (laughs) to. We talk at the same time. I'm not going to, I'm not going to sit in it or let it like affect me. So that's the choice you're making. Like how to use it. mm -hmm. I used to probably would loop it over and over of like, uh, I'm so stupid. Why can't I get it together? And why can't I do all the things? But you know, our girl, Shauna Nequist, who we both recently interviewed, we don't know. We don't have to have that narrative. We're not going to have the negative self-talk and we don't have to fit in all the things every single day to keep up with every single thing that everybody else is doing or appears to be doing. Yeah. Okay. (sighs) You take a breath. Yeah. Take a breath. Should I get back to Ashley? Yeah, Ashley. Sorry. (laughs) She said, I heard two quotes that I wanted to share that you and Kat might be able to use on the fifth thing. They both really speak to me and seem like something that you and Kat might be able to tie into an episode. The first quote is, instead of spending your weekend escaping the life you have, consider spending your weekend building the life you want. And she attached Holman underscore home as the Instagram handle where she got that. And then the second quote came from Charlemagne the God's Instagram. I was one big fans. Our, our boy, Charlemagne, uh, he hosts a hip hop show through iHeartRadio and it's not, I guess it's, it's a syndicated show out of New York. And I met him years ago through our iHeart Festival in Vegas. And he really is one of the smartest people I've ever met. And here's a quote that Ashley shared. We don't get over or move on from our trauma. We are forced to make space for it. We carry it. We learn to live with it. And sometimes we thrive in spite of it. Takes a lot of work though. Your trauma is not your fault, but healing is your responsibility. Mm. And then she said, so good, right? And then she said, finally, I hope you got the collage that I sent to you. After our conversation, I decided to create something for you as a thank you. Some things in the piece represent some of the things you brought up in our conversation, your family, your kids, etc. My art is a way to practice a little self-care and I have a creative outlet and I mostly give them to people in my life. Hope you enjoy it. All the best, Ashley. 
which yes, Ashley, I got your piece of art and that was very thoughtful. And I love that you have a self-care outlet that is creative and therapeutic for you. And then you also get to gift it to people Mm -hmm. and it's a blessing in their life. And I thought your card that was attached to it was the sweetest note ever. And that's what I mean about these listener Q and A's is I'm connecting with listeners now on another level. Like I got to know Ashley, Ooh, which fun fact, Kat, that I don't know if I shared with you yet that three of those interviews were B teamers, like hardcore Bobby Bone Show fans. They've been listening to four things Mm -hmm. on the regular, but one of the interviewers learned about my podcast from your podcast, You Need Therapy. What up? I know. Isn't that cool? Oh, that is so cool. Yeah. You're welcome. Oh, hey. (laughs) Yes. Thank you. (laughs) So I want to go back to the, instead of spending your weekend escaping the life you have, consider spending your weekend building the life you want. And all I want to do right now is build a weekend full of watching Real Housewives. (laughs) That's the life you want. It's the life I want. (laughs) I, I was going to say, what is the life you want? That I would, I don't want a real housewife's life, yeah. but I want to, I want to watch Be able it. To do nothing. Mm-hmm. I can't wait. I don't know when that weekend is coming, but I'm, I'm going to try to create it. Do you feel like you're like, you live for the weekends? No, you- I feel like it depends on how the week has been. If I approach it that way, yeah. it depends on how busy I am, which Kat oh. and I, <laughs> It's kind of gotten to be an inside joke because one of Kat's biggest pet peeves is for people to talk about how busy they are. And I don't think I ever do that intentionally by any means. It's just sometimes I start rattling off. Okay, can Hmm. I, I need to clarify this though. I am annoyed by people who brag about how busy they are. When you tell me, now it's just like, I feel like you just do it. As oh, a now joke. I'm but totally yeah. doing it as but a when joke. when you tell me what you're doing, it's not like you're like, I'm so, now you do, but <laughs> it's not like you're like, I'm so cool with all this stuff. You're like, this is my day. And that doesn't bother me. It bothers me when people are like, I'm so busy. I just like don't have time for anything else. I worked for like 15 hours and I'm just like that. Can we not glorify that? But <laughs> now my pet peeve has worked in the opposite way because it's all you do now. Yeah, I love sending cat voice memos and I'll be like, oh, okay, call me back, but I don't know if I'm real to answer <laughs> because I'm very, very busy. Like you don't even want to know the kind of day that I have. It's just beyond bonkers. Like wall to wall stuff. My calendar is jam packed. <laughs> like I'm just so busy. So anyway, I go on and on and on. But back to the quote, instead of spending your weekend escaping the life you have, consider spending your weekend building the life you want. How does that sit with you, Kat? In every pair of Tacova's boots, you can expect handmade quality, first wear comfort, and timeless Western style. A great pair of Western boots will elevate a casual look or add a refined flair that'll draw both eyes and compliments. Tacova's boots are always made from premium bovine and exotic leathers, and with occasional resoling, they will last a lifetime. Now, the best way to shop for boots is at your local Tacova store, where you're going to be greeted by the smell of fresh leather and a friendly smile. So come on in, grab a cold one, get fitted by a pro, and shop the latest styles. They also offer custom branding and leather stamping if you want to personalize your boots or fine leather goods. And stay cool in a short sleeve moisture wicking pearl snap. Or make your own shade with one of their classic straw hats, new in both men's and women's styles. And if you're planning to hit the road, Tacova's ever-growing lineup of rugged and full-grain leather bags will get you where you're headed in style, and they are built to last decades. Visit tacovas.com. That's T E C O V A S.com. And don't go gently, y'all. I don't want to waste my time taking vitamins that aren't really going to do much for me. Like, I want research. I want to know, like, hey, this is actually doing something for my body. And Ritual knows this. That's why they conducted the research. They've done clinical trials on their Essential for Women 18 plus multivitamin. The results. Well, it increased vitamin D levels by 43% and omega-3 DHA levels by 41% in just 12 weeks. And as a woman, I want healthy vitamin D levels and omega-3 levels. And all I got to do is take my Ritual Essential for Women 18 Plus Multivitamin every morning. I take them on an empty stomach, but sometimes if I forget, I may take them in the afternoon. It's really up to you when you want to take them. There's nine key nutrients in two delayed release capsules. And what the delay release capsules does for us is it optimizes our body's absorption 
of these nutrients. It's gentle on the empty stomach. Like I said, I can take it first thing in the morning and I'm totally fine. And with a minty essence in every bottle, it actually makes taking your vitamins enjoyable. No more shady business. Ritual is essential for women. 18 plus is a multivitamin that you can actually trust. Get 25% off your first month at ritual.com slash four things. Start ritual or add essential for women 18 plus to your subscription today. That's ritual.com slash four things for 25% off. From searching online to asking your friends and family, there are a lot of ways to look for jobs. But have you considered finding your next job through a staffing company? Your local Express Employment Professionals team is your one connection to endless job opportunities. With just one application, they can help you find a job at a company that fits your needs. Visit ExpressPros.com. And as always, Express never charges job seekers a fee. Express knows when companies are hiring, offers benefits and competitive pay. And in just one interview, they are prepared to present you to multiple companies who fit your needs. Express Employment Professionals places people in all kinds of jobs, including everything from customer service to warehouse jobs to accounting and IT roles. Let Express help you. And remember, there is never a fee for job seekers. Go to expresspros.com to get started and discover for yourself what it's like to have support in your job search. You can also start through the Express Jobs app. Download it today to search jobs, apply, and contact your local Express office. All right, you got to love a place that makes shopping for gifts super easy because heads up, Father's Day is June 16th and Macy's has got you covered. Their ultimate gift guide makes shopping for the dad or the dad figure in your life super easy. You can shop by price, 25 and under, 50 and under, 100 and lux. You can shop by category like cologne, watches, leather goods. You can even shop by gift lists. Like if your dad loves to grill, then shop for grill master things. If your dad loves to golf, then you can go to the gift list that is for the golfer. I mean, really, Macy's has thought of it all. If you have a tech-savvy dad, voila, Macy's Gift Finder, again, has you covered with that. Top gifts include Beats headphones, JBL portable speakers, Nintendo Switch, and more. Top brands such as Calvin Klein, Tommy Hilfiger, Polo Ralph Lauren, Columbia, and more. Really, Macy's has it all, so don't be a last-minute shopper. Father's Day is June 16th. Make sure to check out Macy's.com slash gift finder to find a unique gift they'll love. Well, I don't feel like I've, in the last probably, I don't know how many years, but recently ever felt like I'm like living for the weekends. I love the weekends, but I like like my weeks too because I enjoy what I'm doing and I've created a routine for myself that I enjoy. But I know there's been times where that wasn't true and it was like, oh, I can't wait until I get to the weekend so I can enjoy my life and live it. And that isn't a way to live, I don't think. What about, oh, I can't wait to get to the weekend where I have to see no one. I love that. (laughs) That's where you are. So the life you want is a life of solitude. (laughs) Sometimes. Well, and that's okay. That's okay. But yeah, I think it's the weekends versus the weekdays. It's always like a weird debate of like, do we use that, that time to rest from what we're doing during the week? Do we use that time to go out and explore and do things we can't during the, during the week? How do we integrate them? So we're like living the same kind of life Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So I think that's what that quote is speaking to. Yeah. I mean, I, I like it. I'm going to yeah. probably sit with that one a little bit more just to see where it takes me. <laughs> How do you think your life would be better if you were able to have a weekend where literally you didn't get off the couch and you just watched Real Housewives for 48 hours? I mean, I think that that seems appealing to me, but I think if I was actually in it, it wouldn't be that satisfying. It wouldn't? I don't think so. Like if I actually did it, like I would be like, because let's see, I went away for my birthday weekend and I kind of had really high expectations for that alone time, like really high. And honestly, there were times where I was like, okay, kind (laughs) of over this, which is weird because I was looking forward to it. And all in all, I wouldn't redo it. Like it was needed and I'm glad I did it, but it wasn't all I had it cracked up to be. Well, because you're looking forward to rest. You're looking forward to being able to like breathe. You're looking forward to like not having a million things on your calendar maybe or not having all these responsibilities. So how do you create more of that in your everyday life? Yeah. 
And I, I'm you're not really looking to be alone all the time. No. Because I think you did text me. You're like, okay, now what do I do? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I mean, I did. I had certain exercises for my therapist, like stuff I was going to do, conversations I was going to have with certain people that are, you know, help me think mm-hmm. <laughs> through things. And so, and I did all that. And then I, and then I was like, okay, now what? <laughs> I do have another uh, Uh, listener email though from Sierra in California. She said, hey, I heard your fifth thing episode a few weeks ago that you're now enjoying sour cream again after eating disorder recovery. So happy for you. I have a random recommendation though. This sour cream is so delicious. Not sure if you've tried it, but it's Mexicana Crema. It's thinner and runnier, but it's delicious on anything. Tacos, quesadillas, chips and salsa mixed into a taco bowl, chipotle style. Anyways, just wanted to share my fave in case you haven't tried it. I hope this photo works. Take care. And then she attached a picture. So thank you, Sierra, for sending that. And yeah, I was Googling like different types of Mexican crema. So I wanted to share this email because I'm going to be buying this. Like I'm adding this to my refrigerator because I love anything mm-hmm. like this. I love sour cream. I love I love white condiments. I love ranch. I love mayonnaise. I love, I like <laughs> that. <laughs> white condiments. Yeah, call me on that. <sighs> like what's the, what's your favorite condiment? Ketchup. Oh yeah, me too. But I don't like, and I don't think I don't like white condiments. Have you ever mixed ketchup and mayo? I don't like mayonnaise. Oh, well, it you're missing is, out. I know. It is really upsetting. I don't like mayonnaise because I really want to like chicken salad. Well, I mean, can you eat chicken salad and just not think about how there's mayonnaise in there or no. do you taste it? No, it's, it's all, that's like what it is. No, it's chicken and maybe celery and maybe grapes and nuts or depending. Binded together with mayonnaise. True. But I mean, I just didn't know if you told your mind that, oh, this is just chicken I created mixed an- up. Change the narrative. (laughs) (laughs) Reframe it. I've tried to, I actually have made it instead of mayonnaise. I've made it with avocado instead because you just need something, but it's not the same. So, you know, I think I just, I'm going to give that up. Let me tell you what I'm obsessed with lately to put on my toast. So, you know, I love toast. I have toast every single day. I go through Ezekiel bread around here. Like I had toast this morning. Yeah. It's so good. But okay. Well, let me tell you, because somehow I came across this carrot cake, almond, and walnut butter. I think as I was Googling walnut butters because I read walnuts are good for your brain. Walnut butter. Yeah. Also, is walnut butter and peanut butter and almond butter, is that a condiment? Well, now we're talking about oh, toast. Oh, we've moved on. Okay, yeah. sorry. <laughs> we're, we're, we're not talking about, about toast. Food. This is our toast segment. Go on. Yes. And I was trying to find ways to put walnuts in my body for my brain. And I don't want to eat a walnut. You don't? No. Oh, I love I don't, a oh, walnut. No, I don't want to eat a walnut. Okay. I don't want to eat a pecan. Oh. Maybe it's b- because in my recovery, I'm like, I know in my eating disorder, I made myself do mm. things like that. And now I'm like, I'm over Not it. For it yeah. I'm just, so I want to eat it in a nut butter. So when I'm Googling, I come across this carrot cake one from Big Spoon, I guess is the brand. And I order it thinking that I'm being all, you know, trendy and weird. Mm-hmm. And now I see it at stores everywhere. <laughs> so I guess it's not that. Like at Publix. Yeah. But I'm sure it is. It could be a smaller company. Like literally, I just Googled it just now and Publix popped up and like Whole Foods. So, and, and I got it on Amazon. But shout out to these Big Spoon Roasters because this carrot cake concoction. Is it good? It is so good. Let me tell you, you toast your toast. You toast your toast. You get your bread and you toast it. And then you spread the carrot cake, almond, walnut, butter on there. And then you sprinkle some sea salt. Oh, if you're feeling a little crazy, you kind of maybe mix in a little bit of butter when it's hot. Oh, yeah. So it's like melted. It is chef's kiss. Yeah. Isn't that well, what the kids say? Yeah, it is. But carrot cake's my favorite cake. Well, this doesn't so, taste exactly like carrot cake. I'm not going to lie. Okay. But it just has the flavors. Flavor. But I wouldn't want you to eat this thinking, oh, carrot cake. Okay. Cause you need to and eat the real thing for carrot cake. But you came in and you were you had one of those almond oh my God, whatever biscuit so thingies. And it's so weird that you walked in with one today because I literally had one for the first time in my life yesterday. Scuba Steve, the EP for the Bobby Bone Show. I was starving and he's like, here, I have an extra snack. And he gave me that and it was so good. So good. I get them from Costco and I eat one every day. What what was it? Nature Valley? Mm-hmm. Like um, almond butter biscuit something. So freaking good. 
Yeah, I just Googled it so that we can get it right. And it is Nature Valley Biscuits. And it's they have different flavors, but the almond butter one, so good. And I've been debating if I should become a Costco member. Oh, you t- yeah, you should. So sh- could we go to Costco together? Actually, you don't need to become a member because I'm a member and I just, my parents got me... <laughs> a Costco membership for Christmas as part of my Christmas. And I went to go sign up and the guy said, you know, you get a second membership with this. Is there somebody you want to add to your card? And it was just a little bit of a sad moment because I was like, I don't have anybody to add, but you can be my second person. Oh. So you don't even need a membership. You just have to go with me and I'll put you on my account. Okay. Well, I'm in. Okay. You do have a boyfriend now, so are you sure you don't want to add him? I think that might be a little bit moving too fast to already put him on my Costco membership. I don't know. I feel as though things are moving really fast. He had a puzzle made for you. <laughs> he did. And I will say he got me a gift because as a thank you for me getting him a gift, which I thought was very funny. So now do I get him a gift for saying thank you for saying thank you? Well, yeah, because then you'll get another gift. So we just back. keep this going. But he uh, got me a custom Britney Spears puzzle. That's legit. And this sounds dramatic, but I think it's like my favorite gift from a boyfriend. Well, I was about to say, well, I gave you a puzzle. <laughs> no, no, from a boyfriend. Okay. Trust me. My puzzle is better you've, than Britney. You've gotten me some good gifts. Yes. But I will say that took some thought and he knows how much you love Britney. Yes. Or maybe he doesn't. I mean, that means he's paying attention because it's not like he's, y'all haven't been together that long. I know. And I don't remember really talking about Britney Spears that much. Yeah. So that means he's like figuring you out. He does listen very well. He doesn't talk as much as me. He listens very well. You know what? I got, I did get a nice email about your laugh. Really? Yeah. Wait, Mm -hmm. that, what did they say? It's from Carrie, K-A-R-R-I. And she said, I love the Fifth Thing podcast. The dynamic between you and Kat is refreshing. Kat's laugh is so infectious. Keep up the amazing work, ladies. Do you remember when I texted you and I was like, oh, I'm listening to the episode. My laugh is so annoying. Do you remember? And you were like, I don't think so. I don't think your laugh is annoying at all. I was talking to my boyfriend a couple of weeks ago and I don't, I think we were talking about like our first date or something. He was like, one of the first things I noticed about you that I really liked is the way you laugh. And he was like, you just like open your mouth and you basically scream and you kick your head back. And he was like, I just noticed that. And I was like, oh my God, you pay attention to all these things. I don't remember anything that you did our first date. <laughs> <laughs> I remember That's something true. from your I first remember. date with him. In fact, I didn't know if you were going to go out with him again, but here we are. Here we are. <laughs> okay, well, wherever you are today, whatever day of the week it is, have the day you need to have. And keep that mm. saying in your back pocket because you never know when you might need to bust it out. Mm. And also remember you're allowed to change your mind and you're allowed to do what is best for you. And as long as it's done in a kind way and with the right intentions, all will go well. And Kat, I know we both learned so much from that Shauna interview that we did. And Mm -hmm. if y'all haven't listened to my interview with Shauna Nyquist last Thursday, I surprised my sister with Shauna on the interview. I came up with this whole lie where I said I was going to be on the Shauna's PR team. And so go back and listen to that episode because it really was special. And my sister had the sweetest story ever to share Mm -hmm. with Shauna about, you know, the time when my mom was battling cancer and then when she died and how this gift basket just showed up. It was all very weird. And it's still a mystery, not solved. Because Shauna was like, "Uh, Christy, that was not me. (laughs) Which I mean, obviously we knew it wasn't her, but she's like, that's definitely my handwriting. That was, okay, so I listened to it and I texted Amy when I was listening to it. And I was like, oh my gosh, I'm crying listening to this. So I highly recommend it. It was very good. But that is the one of the weirdest things. Isn't it? Yes. It's very bizarre. And then speaking of my sister, she's going to be my guest this coming Thursday for all four things. Actually, my sister will be the first three things. And then her husband, Ben, will be the fourth thing because they are the new co-stars of HGTV's new show on Sunday nights called Building Roots. It's officially out. So this last Sunday was the first episode. So my sister and Ben are going to come on to just talk about the whole process, what it was like. But I mean, my sister and I, we talk about other things too. It's not just the show. I like to say when I talk to my sister, I get nuggets of wisdom. And that is what she brings to the table for the first three things. And then her husband too, he has nuggets as well. (laughs) That sounds weird. (laughs) so sweet. So weird. Especially since he's a guy. Okay. Well, we're going to go. But Kat, why don't you share your Instagram and where people can find you? 
at cat.defada on Instagram. And Defada is D-E-F-A-T-T-A. And then if you want, you can follow You Need Therapy Podcast on Instagram at You Need Therapy Podcast. All right. So that's where you can find Kat. I'm at Radio Amy and we appreciate you listening. Mm -hmm. And okay. (laughs) All right. Okay. Here we go. (laughs) Okay. All right. So that, okay. (laughs) Okay. I keep talking like that. Okay, so that's where you can find Kat. And on Instagram, I am at Radio Amy. And also there's more info at RadioAmy.com. And yeah, looks like that's our that's our show. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. We're, we need to work on that. Okay, bye. Thanks. You changed the way that you I said don't it. Know. I don't know. I don't know the inflection. Thank you. Oh, what is the inflection? Fine. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I thought it was... Thank you. Is that what I just did? I don't know. Okay. All right. Bye. Bye. (laughs) Thank you. All right. This sun season, evolve your sun care with new Banana Boat 360 coverage. With Advanced Control Mist, it's a new way to spray. It's an all new bottle for an all new mist experience that smells great and is incredibly light on your skin. You can even customize your spray. Like to cover targeted areas, you just tap the trigger lightly, or you can pull the trigger fully for a long, continuous spray, ensuring long-lasting banana boat protection. Plus, it's refillable. From sweat-resistant sport formula to kids' SPF 50+, plus, this is sun care that'll come in handy when my kids are swimming, playing sports, when I'm hiking, when we're out at the lake, or whatever it is that we're doing outdoors. Shop Banana Boat 360 Mist at Walmart, Target, or Amazon. In every pair of Tacoba's boots, you can expect handmade quality, first wear comfort, and timeless Western style. Tacoba's boots are always made from premium bovine and exotic leathers, and with occasional resoling, they're going to last a lifetime. The best way to shop for boots is at your local Tacova store, where you're going to be greeted by the smell of fresh leather and a friendly smile. So come on in, grab a cold one, get fitted by a pro, and shop the latest styles. Visit tacovas.com. That's T-E-C-O-V-A-S dot com. And don't go gently, y'all. All right, this show is sponsored by BetterHelp. It's a simple truth that no matter who you are, mental health challenges can affect you. And how you manage them can really make all the difference. That's why everyone should have access to mental health support that meets them where they are and helps them get through things. Now, BetterHelp provides online therapy on your schedule. It's flexible, simple to use, and more affordable than in-person therapy. Connect with a licensed therapist selected just for you. Learn more at BetterHelp.com. That's BetterHelp.com. BetterHelp.com. This is Malcolm Gladwell from Revisionist History. eBay Motors is here for the ride. With some elbow grease, fresh installs, and a whole lot of love, you transformed 100,000 miles and a body full of rust into a drive that's all your own. Brake kits, LED headlights, whatever you need, eBay Motors has it. And with eBay Guaranteed Fit, it's guaranteed to fit your ride the first time, every time, or your money back. Plus, at these prices, you're burning rubber, not cash. Keep your ride or die alive at ebaymotors.com. Eligible items only. Exclusions apply.